Hey, look, it's part two. Hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the old one. That makes sense. Oh, create. Ah, uh, I forgot I was gonna. Okay, create new layer. Set the properties. Stupid hackies. <laughs> properties to multiply. Fill with white. And then select a slightly darker color for your hair. Yes. Fun. Uh, okay, then select your hair with global and tolerance zero on your color layer. Then move back to the layer that you're going to put your hair shading on. Then use your, your line tool. Yeah. Line tool. This is kind of like the line art, really. And right click, use white, make it nice and sharp. And it's important to only do it on the side opposite from your light source. So my light source is on the left, so I only shade the right sides. Otherwise, it looks weird. Unless you have two light sources. That could work. Yeah, so you're always aiming f for the center of the hair. You don't necessarily have to reach that. You can if you want. I don't. Because sometimes it just looks weird. And if you want a little more depth, you can add two lines on a piece of hair. Yes, I have a very entertaining voice. <laughs> I should just play this when they want their babies to go to sleep. Um, you can do the rest. So, I am done now. And I'm gonna change the opacity because it's a little too dark, in my opinion. And so I create a new layer. And I, it stays on normal. Don't do anything with that. So, select. Use the eyedropper tool on your hair and make one lighter and one darker you can add like I add a little red for some reason I don't know I think it, it just helps it show up a little better so go back to your empty layer with your pencil tool and keep and it, it, move Oof. Jerk. Okay, then take your pencil tool and make mine. My computer picks really, really good times to be super slow. <sighs> Work. Okay. Um, it's working again. Yes. So we make lines that come from the center of the hair. And try not to cross them too much. Although, I do anyways because I'm lazy. And I like going really fast. <laughs> yes, I'm going to play you a song. Enough that. Okay, once you're done, you select this area just so the thing goes faster. Then go effects, blurs, fragment. And play with your little settings until you get something that you like. Do 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 yes. Mm, that's good. So and then you go back to color. What are you? Yeah. Slow. Go to color. Go trying to get there. Am I there yet? All right. And select hair with tolerance 
zero on global. Back to your weird fragment layer. Control I to invert selection and delete. Ta da! I've, yeah, change the opacity a little so it's not so weird looking. I also give it a different name just so you know what layer is what. Some people leave them the same. I like to name them. So play through opacity. Oh, that's good. And I changed the name of the other ones. Hair. Shade. I <laughs> have really creative names. And we're done. Saving. Pretty awesome, eh? Pretty awesome.